Hey y'all. Thank y'all for coming. All right, I'm about to start up in a couple minutes. Look at this little video. She's so cute. What's up, Avocado Gaming? <laughs> Your name is so funny. Hey! I appreciate y'all for coming to watch me stream. It's so freaking nice outside today. I low key should be outside. I probably am gonna, I don't know. Well, my dog's not even here, so I can't even walk my dogs. Maybe I'll just like walk to the mailbox or something. <laughs> Oh my gosh, not my freaking, I'm, it's freaking echoing. Okay, let me get this started, y'all. Okay. So I actually got my camera on today, so hey. <laughs> um, I was like, let me, you know, do my hair and put my camera on today because normally I just be, Behind my computer with my body on, chilling. But I got my hair done, you know. Got the puff today, so I was like, might as well be on camera. Um, so today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I make money on Second Life. Uh, there are like literally so many ways to make money on Second Life, which is why uh I enjoy playing this game because like, you know, I got so tired of freaking. I don't know about y'all, but I get so tired of putting my linens on this game. And I don't get no money back. So we're definitely talking about how I make linens today. So as you can see, it's me right here. Her thigh poking out. Ignore that. I've been struggling with these outfits today. But also we got a little toddler in the back, which that's my um toddler account. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's my toddler account. So I make money on my toddler account and my adult account. So um I guess, okay, I'll talk about gestures first. So I just started making gestures. I don't know if you guys are familiar with gestures. I used, like, when I started playing Second Life a long time ago, I wanted to make gestures so bad. But um, I finally actually started doing it. It's pretty easy to make. Uh, if you don't know what gestures are, uh, if you just go to your gestures folder, it's just, like, uh, little animations that you can do. So this is just, like, a punch gesture I got for free. Oh, she not, well, she's supposed to punch, but her arm is a little visible right now <laughs> because of this shirt. So that's not a good example. Um, okay, another gesture. This is just like a heart gesture. So I guess when you type it, like, oh, yeah, it just puts a little heart emoji. Um, so I've been making a bunch of gestures, just like stuff that's like funny or, uh, let's see, or like memes and stuff and turn them into gestures which is super easy to do. So all I do, like I'll find memes and stuff on YouTube. So then I'll find something on YouTube, I get the video and then I'll go to, uh, matter of fact, I'll just show y'all. See if y'all can see this real quick. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna add the little internet browser. So this is my uh, gesture store right here. I got a bunch of gestures, you just upload them. Only thing about gestures, they're not gonna make you that much money right away. Uh, as you can see, I charge 100 linens per gesture, but it ends up adding up, so that's cool too. Um, it costs 10 linens. All you need to make the gesture is 10 linens for to upload the sound, and then you just make the gesture. So I'll show you an example of a gesture. I'll do this one, the I don't care, I don't give a fuck gesture. So it's these are like super cool to make. So this is how you make the gesture. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Y'all probably can't. Let me turn it up. But like you make the gesture, you add the text. You know if y'all can see my little text down there at the bottom. Let me add, let me do this. But yeah, so you add the uh, words that you wanted to say. And yeah, so that's one way I make gestures. I can make one right now really quick. So what you're going to do is... uh. You can right click in a folder and then go to new gesture. And so I'm making some Janae gestures for my friend that role plays as Janae Aiko. So I'm going to do that one real quick. Uh, 
So when you make a new gesture, it automatically activates for you. Oh, I need to hide that. Let me hide that. There you go. So you make a new gesture, it automatically activates for you, and it says new gesture right here, and it opens up automatically. These are the default settings. Um, you change the trigger. So the trigger is what the person types for the gesture to activate. Um, so this is a laughing gesture. So I'm just going to do something like, let me close that. I'm going to do maybe like haha -ha or something. I don't know. So when they type haha, -ha, the gesture will start playing. Do y'all know about these? Like making gestures or no? Because I don't want to be telling y'all something that y'all already know how to do. Because <laughs> I don't want it to be boring. So um, how you upload the sound uh, is different on Black Dragon Viewer. But basically you go to the upload and then you go to sound right here. But on uh, Firefox, I mean not Firefox, I always call it Firefox. Firestorm is up in the build uh, section, the build folder. And so you just upload sound and then your sound has to be under, I believe, 20 seconds. And it also has to be a WAV file. So WAV file. Um, to edit the sounds, I use Audacity. So let me just open this stuff up. So say like I'll go to YouTube and uh say I wanted the oh say I wanted this, like him saying Gotti. So I'll do this, uh, copy this link. Oh no, y'all can't see Lord Jesus. Yes, it, this is an easy way to make money. I'm sitting here doing all this stuff and y'all can't see. Forgive me, I'm going too fast. But um, let me try this again. So I go to YouTube, say I wanted this guiding gesture, I mean this guiding, I want to make it a gesture. So I got the video, copy the link at the top. And then I'll search uh, YouTube to MP3. So then that gives you like the YouTube to MP3 mp3 converter so you go to that website you know paste your youtube link convert okay so while that's converting you know it's converted to an mp3 file for you you're also going to need um audacity which is a free program so audacity software i don't know if some of you guys are familiar with that um yeah you download this program it looks like this it's it's really simple to use honestly uh, all I do is just like highlight uh, the section of the stuff that I want. I'll cut it and then I'll delete everything else, paste it down. So once it gives you uh, the MP3, you just download it, downloads on your computer. Now you just add this all over to Audacity. Okay, so once you add it to Audacity, I, I, it might sound complicated, but I promise you it's not. Uh, you don't even have to use Audacity. You can use whatever like audio program or maybe like a little app on your phone whatever is easier for you to like clip that audio down to the specific part that you want make sure it's under 20 seconds so you also need to make sure you export it to a wav a wave file so say you're having problems doing that say it um it exports as the mov i mean an mp3 file so you just do like mp3 to wave as you can see i've been searching that and then there are like so many online converters that will do it for you so yeah once you have that file that wave file you're just going to let me move this out the way so y'all can see yeah you're just going to go to file upload sound right okay <laughs> sorry if i'm going too fast let me know if i am or if y'all have questions please definitely feel free to drop them down below that's why i'm doing a live video so y'all can ask me questions if y'all confused so yeah, you'll upload your gesture, um, the sound. So once you upload it, it'll look like this. It'll ask you, and you just upload it for 10 linens. So once it uploads, it goes right into your sound folder. So you see, these are all the sounds that I've uploaded. They cost 10 linens each. Once you get your sound, okay, you're going to go to your gesture. That's when you make the new gesture uh, right here. And then it opens up. Okay. So then you change your trigger. So I'm making a laugh uh, with Janae Aiko's voice. And then I have to just find the name of my uh, laugh wherever. Okay, I think it was a oh, loud laugh. Yeah, so right here. So if I press preview, it's going to play the sound. Okay, right. So play the sound. Let me turn it up a little bit just so y'all didn't hear. So every time this person wants to, like when she types, Ha ha or lol is gonna play the sound. So yes. So what we need to do? Uh, 
it always starts off with the animation and a sound but so you just you can delete the animation so say we want to let me see i'm actually going to start over from scratch scratch let me go deactivate so new gesture okay so it looks like this start animation wave sound it like defaults to like a waving animation hey. like that that's the default hey. right so ooh, okay we need to get rid of this wave animation and we also need to change the sound so i'm changing the sound to the sound that i uploaded which is loud laugh then i also this is all the things you can add you can add dances you can add multiple sounds you can add you know you add the chat what you want the chat to say you can add a wait so say like you the first they say the first sentence then it waits like two seconds then it automatically plays the second sentence so yes we're doing that so uh when she types ha ha that's the trigger uh replace with you don't have to use that you can just re uh, leave that blank and add so click chat add your chat so it's the last we're just gonna type a ha <laughs> ha <laughs> like that okay so and then you could preview it and you see it goes right here in the chat so that's how the gestures work and you're literally finished like save you made a gesture so definitely uh play around with making gestures y'all so i just like to rename my stuff just to keep it organized so i'm gonna do that uh, And then I upload my stuff. I sell my stuff on Marketplace. So I can make a separate video on that because that's like a whole different thing. Getting into how to upload it to Marketplace. So that's one way of how I make money. Um, I sell these for 100 linens each, which people have been like buying a lot of these gestures. So that's super dope. Like I'll just log on and I got linens. Like 100, 100 linens isn't a lot, but it adds up. So it's cool little, you know, pocket change, get you a shirt or something, <laughs> or just save it up and watch it grow over time. So yeah, uh, that, that definitely gets me some spending money. So I don't have to keep uploading linens. And then another way, like say you want to make more money, like say you don't want to make gestures because you want more than 100 linens. Okay, so that is why I have this little baby stand right here. So um, if you have like, some Photoshop or some GIMP experience you can make clothes so like Second Life is so different now that they're like so many mesh shit like everything's mesh so I'm gonna just show y'all I hate she be moving around so much y'all but the shirt that she has on is the shirt that I made in Photoshop it's literally like so easy if you have experience with Photoshop um so I know you're like okay so where do how do I get a shirt like I don't even know I can't I don't know how to make a shirt like I don't know how to make that shirt either, but I'm going to tell y'all how I made it, okay? So, yes, uh, I got this shirt. The mesh, the actual shirt is from, <clears throat> excuse me, the actual shirt is from Marketplace, right? And then I just added the texture onto it, and then I just res it in the game. So, yeah, I made these shirts. I made a bunch of shirts, and they're selling right now. I also have, have my clothes in a kid's shopping event which starts on friday so definitely about to be racking up some money you know that's another thing you do make uh clothes get into those shopping events you just pay for a booth and then you leave your stuff up for like a month and people just especially if they're popular shopping events people gonna go and they gonna spend money so yes uh let me show y'all how to find stuff where is my browser okay right here so yes to find stuff on marketplace put that right there um so here's a store I actually found so this store illusion designs full permission creations made with love so definitely I'll put this uh in the chat right now just so y'all can see add that to the chat right quick So this marketplace is pretty is actually really expensive, but I mean it's a good investment because you could flip this stuff. Is this yes, it's definitely the same. So for accessories, if you could find, so I'll tell you what I'll show you what to search, what I searched. Let me see. So all this stuff is full perm. So full perm means you can copy, you can uh modify it, and you can transfer it. 
So these do come with rules, so you do have to read the rules. Uh, same for accessories in regards to your things getting into events. Like, what do you mean? Can you sell accessories at an event, a shopping event? Is that what you mean? What is this? Some shoes? I mean, yeah, well, if that's what you mean, can you sell accessories at shopping events? Yes. You can. You can sell. I see build people sell buildings at shopping events. People sell like all types of furniture, hair, clothes. It yeah, just make sure that shopping event aligns with, you know, yeah, so it'll be like a shopping event for Avatar. Some people have themed shopping events, so it'll be like a Candyland theme or a robot theme or stuff like that. But for the most part, yes. Um, so all this stuff is full perm, and they also have demos too, so you can try before you buy. I know this stuff is kind of expensive. I didn't spend that much for um buying these little toddler clothes. So I'll just I just search like full perm mesh. Hi, hey center. <laughs> full perm mesh. Uh, you clothes like that so all this stuff is you just spend you know it's not it's really not that much honestly because you could flip this stuff make your money back quick so just stuff say if you want to make kid clothes which i'm pretty i don't think it's nobody that got kid abbies that's watching this i don't think so but so they come with the ao map and the uv map so what that looks like let me show y'all on here so AO map looks like this. This is just the, like this is how you make the shirt. So basically what I would do, I would take my AO map and bring it into Photoshop. And then that's how I'll just make my, uh, my texture or my design on top of this. And then, yeah, you save it as a PNG and then upload it the same way as an image. Oh, that didn't pop up but you upload as an image uh let me go back to that browser we could just all you have to type in is full perm mesh uh like women's clothes or whatever whatever you're looking for lord let me change this because i don't want it to pop up i don't got time you know second like they be on with some bullshit not trying to get demonetized <laughs> but uh let's see so yeah like this this only a hundred linens. It's a shirt. You can, you know, make make it look cute. Put whatever design on it you want to. Comes with the uh, UV map. So yeah, definitely just make sure it says mesh model, small, medium, extra large, extra small. So uh, definitely make sure it says like the specific mesh bodies you're looking to uh, make clothes for. And then make sure it has the UV map and the alpha maps, the AO maps. And then uh, they, the creators always have like little certain rules right here. I don't know if y'all can see, it might be too small. Let me make it bigger. But they have rules like it says, you can't sell this shirt with full perm. Okay, common sense. And then they also says models cannot be sold under 50 linens. All right. So yeah, just follow the rules. Don't be buying it and then trying to give it out for free or whatever because obviously you can't do that. Yeah, so just find stuff on Marketplace and then you end up like making your own clothes. And then put that put them clothes that you make into a shopping event. Apply for to be in a shopping event and then boom, you making money. Like, I mean, I don't know. Y'all got any questions or is there any other ways y'all thought about making money? Um, I know another way you can make money is by getting a job on Second Life. Uh, definitely are a lot of role-playing sims that probably offer jobs, uh, like vacation sims, which uh, if y'all don't know what sim means, that means like land. So like, say you want to go on vacation somewhere on Second Life, they have people working there, acting like they work at the resort or whatever. Or somebody wanna, might want to go shake their ass at the strip club. You could be a stripper, you could be an escort, like make money. Okay, I really don't know much about this stuff. I've never had a job on Second Life, but you you make money. Okay, so yeah, you get a job, you do this stuff. If you got some um, skills with GIMP or Photoshop, yeah. So just search on the marketplace. So let me see. Let me see. Full perm. Oh no. 
I thought I might be able to find something. But if you can find something on the uh on marketplace that's full perm and that you can create whatever you want, definitely go for it. Like this necklace cord, maybe I don't know. You can like add a I don't know, add something to it. You can use this as a cord and maybe you might find like some cute charms or something on marketplace that you can color, whatever, and put it together and then boom, you made a necklace. Then resell it, put it on marketplace, or get into a shopping event. Definitely always put it on marketplace because that's it's it's free to make a marketplace store. They do cost you. I mean, it, they do charge you. I believe it's ten linens. That's how much they've been charging me for my gestures. Ten linens for it to be delivered to the person. So uh, what else? Yeah. That's really all I had. Like, I don't know <laughs> how long I've been streaming. I've only been streaming for 23 minutes, and that's all I had to say. I'm mad. So, yeah, definitely ask me questions. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, these are all the shoes that I saw earlier. These are, it looks like, full perm mesh shorts and bra for Cupra. So, just definitely look around on this marketplace. See what you can find. You can find so many clothes, full perm mesh skirt and crop. I'm not sure why. Okay, maybe worn separate. Oh, okay, I guess you can. So you could buy this and retexture it however you wanted to because it comes with the AO mat too. And then they also have rules. So, yes, definitely dig into Marketplace because there's so much stuff. Um, but yeah, so when I bought the shirt that I found on Marketplace, it came with this shirt. So this, it came in two, I believe it came in three different sizes. So it comes like this and then, you know, you get your AO map or whatever. And then it also comes with the display item. So let me see if I could take y'all to my booth. One second. Tell for history. All right. Okay, well she about to take us to the booth real quick. If I can get there, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, go for it. So here's the shopping event. They open on the 5th. Where is my camera doing that? Don't got time to be playing with y'all. Ooh, okay, still resin. Whoa, what in the... Chow? What is this? Oh, I can't even get in. Okay, well, I can't get in. Obviously, my, my little person, she in there already, wherever she at. Let's see. I can't get in because I don't have a group tag, which is, you know, whatever. I'm not surprised. I just got to find her, though. Sheesh. Where's this at? Um, oh, here you go. Okay. So here is the clothes that I made, and I made a little booth, whatever. So for the shopping event, yeah, on the 5th, if you got a toddler or... If you got a toddler, Abby, or you know somebody that's a kid, come on, support my booth, <laughs> buy some clothes, you know? Yeah, so I made all this stuff from buying uh, meshes that I found on Marketplace, and then I just textured them, and then I got into the shopping event, so definitely hoping that I get a lot of money from this shopping event when they open in a couple days, so you can make all types of clothes. Somebody will like it, like, honestly, I feel like... Out of all the people that play Second Life, somebody gonna like it. So made found these jumpsuits on um the marketplace. It's so easy. Like it's no excuse for you not to be making money on Second Life because there's so many ways you can make money. You could sell poses, you could like build little like build boxes or stuff like this, like build um take pictures for people. Uh, be a decorator, like decorate houses or landscape. A lot of people do landscaping. Just like somebody had to put this whole 
a design together. Like somebody had to come up with this concept and decorate this whole land. You know, it's so many ways to make money on Second Life. So definitely make sure y'all making money some type of way because Second Life be taking our coins, okay? But uh, it's a lot of creators that be working their ass off as well. But let me go back. Um, yeah, that really, I really don't have much else to say. So, uh, if y'all got some questions, definitely hit me up in my Discord chat. I think I'm about to end it because I really, that was it. I don't know. Y'all got questions? <laughs> I got a skybox, y'all. I didn't furnish it. I'm probably honestly not going to furnish it. But this is in my skybox. Oh, I got to TC this little girl. I forgot. I don't know where the hell she went. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, she got stuck in teleport. Oh, well. Well, yeah. So, this is my skybox. It's super cute. Uh, I built it <laughs> above the Green Hill, Greenview Hills sim. So, yeah. That's another way to make money. Make you a little community. Rent out houses. Rent out land. Yeah, this bothers as much as I'm going to furnish it. I really don't care that much. I really didn't want a house in the first place. But it's cute. Got a TV. That's it. <laughs> Definitely, I'm, I'm not going to furnish it anymore. Because I'm trying to use all the prim. But I love this little skybox. Um, so yeah, if y'all haven't seen this already. Because I feel like I show this every freaking stream. But yes, you know you can rent a house if somebody uh, decorated their house already. Like, look how cute that is. So we got one house rented. Um, they got the same <laughs> furniture. Because I was like, girl, come get this furniture. It's only 60 linens. This couch, I definitely got me one too. Um, we got this house still available. And then I believe the other one at the end is still available too. So you can make you a little sim. This actually, you do have to put more money into like making a whole sim like this. So it's really not like, I don't know, if you not willing to put the money up front, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's all I really got for today. So, you know, I think we just going to end it at 30 minutes. Y'all got questions? Hit me up in the Discord. Let me see. I was hoping my whole face was about to be right there. But yeah, so... Those are how I make money, two different ways I make money in Second Life. Other ways you can get a job, uh, what's another way? Uh, I know people like exchange, what? <laughs> I know people exchange lendings on a, I don't really know much about that. Uh, get a job, that's really all I can say, get a job, make gestures. Gestures is literally like one of the easiest ways to make money. It's not going to be that much money, but it's quick. a quick, easy way to make money. So yeah, I will holler at y'all in the next stream. If y'all not, if y'all don't have me added on Second Life, definitely add me. It's simply Monet with two eyes. Um, and I will see y'all in the next stream.